Hi everyone! In this video I'll be talking about Elementor's global site settings and how to migrate or transfer these settings from one website to another. It has to be mentioned to all the people who are not familiar with that site settings thing that if you decided to build your website with Elementor, you gotta have some sort of a global styles manager where you can change the color scheme or typography site wide. Otherwise, you'll find yourself updating fonts and colors across multiple templates manually, which sucks. In Elementor, for some strange reason, there's no way to export nor import site settings. If you ever try to export Global Cat Styles as a template, you know that it doesn't end up well, at least not to the date of this video release. Logically, hence the fact that you cannot export site settings as a Global Cat Styles template, you also cannot do the import because there's nothing to be imported. Just in case you don't understand relation between the site settings and Global Cat Styles. Well, all of your site settings must be stored somewhere and Elementor does that by creating a file. It's a strange file actually because it doesn't show up on a list of templates. It's rather kept quote unquote officially hidden. So if you go to templates, save templates, you can notice that the number of templates does not correspond to the number being displayed next to the all filter. Okay, and it's because of the global kit styles template. You can find it only if you hit the old filter. When speaking of site settings, there's a bunch of things that one must fill in or choose every single time new project is started. You gotta define colors, fonts, headings, typography, buttons, form fields, all of them include a bunch of other options, sub options, responsive options, hover state, etc, etc. The point is that it would be awesome to have a ready-made collection of importable site settings in the form of the file that automatically fills up all these inputs upon import, rather than clucking like a stupid chicken, right? It just doesn't make any sense. So the other day I was sniffing around for the solution and I figured that there are two free plugins created by Envato for the purpose of their marketplace. These two plugins are named Template Kit Export and Template Kit Import. Regardless of the official purpose, these two are capable to export and import that precious Global Kit Styles template. But that's not all. Theoretically, you could export and import the entire Elementor built website. It is true that there are certain flaws when using this meta, but I haven't been able to find any better. And these flaws are digestible, so to speak. So let's say that you want to export your Global Kit styles in order to be able to import it elsewhere. First, be sure to have Template Kit Export plugin installed and active. Next, select Template Kit Templates, and now you're gonna have to create two dummy templates. You can call them any names you like. I'll keep it simple and I'm gonna use dummy1 and dummy2 names. No need to add any content nor edit with Elementor. Just a simple click on a publish button is perfect. As always, the link to the training file is available in the description of this video. Check it out. After I created my two dummy templates, I'll select template kit export and fill up these few formalities, which are actually quite useful. Name your template kit somehow, add the version number if needed, and tick the checkbox next to Elementor. I know it might seem confusing and I know it doesn't make much, much sense, but once you realize that this plugin can help you pack and make portable not only global kit styles but also entire pages and sections, you'll find it very handy sometimes. I dare to say much more acceptable than Elementor's templates library. But why did I create two dummy templates in first place? Well, it's because the template kit export plugin doesn't allow you to export less than three templates. Global kit styles is one plus the two dummies equals three. So three templates is minimum number while the max number is, I guess, unlimited. The next step, select templates. In this step, be sure to tick the checkbox next to include everything in the export file. As for the template type, just pick single page. Another requirement by the template kit export plugin is that you must include the screenshot for every template. Now, if you tend to keep, that's not a bad thing. If you tend to keep things tidy and organized, you'll create a unique cover for your global kit styles. I guess it'll be something that depicts your kit styles in a visual sense. Those two dummy templates don't matter. The cover makes much more sense if dealing with real templates, of course. And finally, let's go to the last step. There's not much to be done here because we didn't use any media with our dummy templates. As I said before, 
template kit export plugin is made by Envato for the purpose of their marketplace, but if you don't have plans to sell your template kits, you shouldn't be concerned about it. All that is left now is to export my template kit, which contains global kit styles. Zip file will be created automatically and my goal to make the site settings portable is completed. Let's take a look now how everything looks like from the perspective of the template kit import plugin. There's also one catch when it comes to replacing Elementor's default global kit styles, but generally speaking the template kit import plugin is much more fun than its counterpart. So at this point I'll go to a different domain and I'll pretend that I'm working on my new Elementor website. Let's pretend. Okay, so I've created a page and I want to use exactly the same site settings that I have used before with a different website. Of course, the template kit import plugin must be installed simply because there's no other way to import template kits. So here's the catch that I mentioned. Whenever you want to replace your currently active global kit styles, you'll have to delete it. There's no other way. You cannot switch between multiple styles. You cannot even save one as a draft and thus make it temporarily unavailable because strange things start to happen. I guess it is due to the caching performed by Elementor. I've tried everything, believe me, this is what works just fine. After you delete global kit styles, do not go back to Elementor Editor because Elementor will recreate that very file immediately. It happens automatically. So let's import my template kit that contains different global kit styles first. From dashboard select Tools, Template Kit, browse to the zip file on a local drive and simply install. The only thing that is left is to import my new global kit styles. Except the fact that these two dummy templates might seem confusing, everything else is pretty much straightforward. Let's check the Elementor templates. From dashboard select template save templates and hit that all filter again. Okay, my new Barlow and Brie kit style is here. I'm gonna go back to my website homepage in order to see how everything looks like now. Alrighty, I guess that's it. All I gotta do now is to assign custom styles to the particular elements which doesn't get inherited automatically, unfortunately. For example, small and large quotes or a bigger accent text. Essentially, portable site settings can save you, save you a lot of time. You can create your favorite font combos, color schemes, form elements, buttons and then just pack it up for later. The good thing about the template kit import plugin is that you can keep all of your kit styles organized and add the cover to every kit as a visual reminder. Elementor developers should definitely think, should definitely consider something like that as an addition to the future version of this page builder because to be honest the current templates library sucks big time. At the end I hope that this tutorial helps. Feel free to express your opinion in the form of the comment. I'd love to hear what you think about Elementor site settings and the templates library. Don't forget to check this video description for some extra links. Don't forget to visit my Gumroad shop. I just added my first template kit with Elementor building blocks. You can also download Barlow and Brie kit style that I have used in this tutorial if you like, it's free. Stay well, stay safe, peace and love.